Ready? Yep. We're talking to Ope Bukola. How are you, Ope? I'm doing great. How are and you? I'm well, and we are, you are with CK12. And so tell me a little bit about what CK12 is. Sure. So CK12 is a nonprofit, um, and we make something called the Flexbook. So a Flexbook is a free digital textbook that you can also customize. Um, so we've got about 80 math and science textbooks that you can use for free and make edits to. That's awesome. So they're free, so like are they in public domain or is it Creative Commons or what's the copyright on those things? Yep, so they're Creative Commons. Um, ours is a share alike non-commercial license, meaning you can make as much adaptation as you want as long as you don't sell it and we ask that you uh, make your adaptations open as well. Okay, so if I, let's say uh, I go to CK12, get a math book, I adapt to it, do I put it back up on CK12 and say here's my newer version better yeah. version or what? how's that work <laughs> uh, you can um, so you can request that your book be made public we don't require it so you could just you know share it privately among your um, students or friends and family but if you request it be made public we just review it to make sure there's no you know copyrighted material on it and it meets some minimum standards and then we'll share it with everybody so this is like something that's really exciting the whole open textbook idea so can you talk a little bit about the open textbook movement and why that's important sure um, um, I think it's important for a lot of reasons. One, um, the cost factor. So, you know, I always say we're not teaching Algebra 1 for the first time and it's <laughs> hard for me to justify, you know, school spending $80 a textbook every couple of years for that. So, no kidding. Um, cost is a big deal, but more importantly is adaptability. You know, when you're a teacher and educator, you know the students in your classroom best, you should be able to adapt your material. Uh, with traditional stuff, you can't do that. Um, the copyright doesn't allow you to make changes to make Make it better for you. Okay, so on your website, okay, how are, how are those uh, books vetted? How do how do we know that they're good enough? You know, yeah. what's a, how do, what's uh, what's the process you guys go through? Yeah, that's a great concern. So we have an in-house content team that actually writes all our material. So we are contracting with authors, former teachers, um, domain experts, and we write them to meet various standards, whether that's Common Core or N NSCS standards in science. So we make sure that their standards um, align books, and those are the books that we, we provide for you. So literally a teacher or even a school district, I suppose, could actually grab one of your books, chop it up, you know, and, and use it for their own devices, so to speak, but then as long as they don't sell it, that's okay. Absolutely, that... and then we encourage you to do it. <laughs> okay, and so uh, you said you had 80 books, is that what you said? Uh, what are what are the, some of the topics that you guys are covering? So we're covering mostly math and science right now um, for sixth grade and up. So in math, everything from math six through calculus, um, in science, everything from, you know, earth science to biology to chemistry. Um, we also have a lot of partnerships with developing new books. Um, NASA is working on a modeling and simulation book that's going to be a, a flex book when it's ready. Wow, that's way cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the the ultimate goal is to have a whole K-12 uh, curriculum there from yep. from cradle to cradle to 16 or something. Exactly, yeah. you know from cradle to 18 and we're hoping the community will help make that happen. Okay, so what kind of response have you gotten? For, uh, uh, it's been great response. Um, so just this past year, a district in Minnesota, uh, Anoka Hennepin, adopted our books um, and saved $180,000. Um, and that's just in one subject, um, yeah. province stats. Uh, we have a lot of charters using us out in California. Utah is launching um, an open textbooks project. So if you go to um, utahopentextbooks.org, they've been using our science material. Next summer, their teachers are actually gonna write more open textbooks. So they're hoping to move the entire state in that direction. And so uh, I've noticed that you're one of the uh, one of the providers in the content repository of Project Share. Is that right? That's right. So any teacher that's in Project Share can go ahead and go grab content off the CK12. Now, is everything in that Project Share? All your content is there? Um, I think most of our content is there. We're constantly adding new ones. Um, so also, we just recommend going to our site, um, ck12.org, to make sure you have the full library. Hold on, let me go to that site real quick. There it is, ck12.org. Okay. And so, there's nothing better than free. Nothing better than free okay. and open. And open. <laughs> so, so tell me this, okay? So it's free, it's open. How do you guys 
support? How do you put food on the table? <laughs> That's a good question. So uh, we are generously funded by foundation grants. Oh, okay. um, so we're, we're funded by foundations who whose mission it is to really make sure every child has access to material. That's awesome. And you guys are doing your guys are doing God's work, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's what we like to think. Okay, Obey, thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon. I really appreciate it. Thank we're you. We're gonna put you up on YouTube, make you a star. Oh, sounds great. There you go. Thanks. Thanks so much. Bye bye.